Lads and ladies, welcome back to Anagi's European Summer Edition. In case you can't tell, my voice is pretty fucked. I'm pretty sure I'm dying right now. And I also chipped my front teeth back at my first football training session of the season. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's been a pretty shit week so far. But luckily, I can't say the same on the Ultimate Champions European Summer Edition. Because, as you can see, I've won some rewards. Uh, you know, a couple of league rewards in there. I've done okay in Game Week 4 in the beginner and pro modes for about 400 Uno there. But the big daddy, the one we all love to see, is on Game Week 3 in the World Class Mode. I came 12th for 1500 yuna and an epic card so let's quickly go and have a look and see see how i did the stuff see how i did the soccer ruse right there uh, game day five about to kick off soon so if i go to game week three here we can see 12 one mythic card 112 dollars 50 of yuna that, that's pretty nice you can't complain about that at all and this was all thanks to the romanian lads believe it or not and i was i was very upset when i was getting romanian players in my packs but uh, hey they've done the business and they've paid for themselves surely here uh stan Chu scored a world-class goal as my cap's in there for some some big points. Uh, Marin got a goal as well, and Dragazin kept a clean sheet. And those were the three scores that really propped up this lineup to take me into 12th. Because if you look elsewhere, uh, most of my other players did pretty poor. Quite shit, honestly. Uh, I'd consider anything below 100 on Ultimate Champions to be a pretty poor score. And everyone apart from SeaWorld got below 100. Obviously, Austria played France. Pretty tough game there, so I wasn't expecting massive scores. But it does make you think, uh, you know, I only came 12 here. And if they'd done a bit better or something had gone slightly differently, I could have been pushing for a podium spot. And of course, every manager can say that. But one that slightly annoyed me is that I went for Bosnik as a cheap option there to round up the lineup. But I was also looking at Dennis Mann, who got about 200 points more. So if I'd put him in there, you know, I'm looking at fourth, fifth, maybe even third spot. So uh, on the rewards, that would have been about uh, yeah, 5,400 to 3,400, you know instead of just 1,500, but hey, shoulda, woulda, couldas, but I didn't do that. So, you know, we're not going to complain too much, we're definitely going to take it. And I'm going to take you over to this Excel spreadsheet I have, where I'm, where I'm tracking everything for this tournament on all my champions. Uh, you know, we can see my rewards here, uh, from column K to column P. I've currently won about $144 once I cash all that in, and of course I'll have some cards to go with that to prop up my teams. And uh, I'm comparing that against the total I've spent, which up here we can see in W1 is $171. So total profit is minus $26 in the first game week. But obviously I've now got all of these cards we can see on the right here to use for the rest of the tournament. And, you know, I'm surely going to be able to claw back $25 across the rest of the year, as you'd think. So I'm pretty much free rolling at this point. And a couple of highlights to show you here, I've highlighted them in green actually, is uh, I got Kyle Walker, Federico Chiesa, Ericsson and Jamal Musiala in three packs as epic cards there. Uh, I've also got Nico Williams and Fabian Ruiz mythic versions from three packs, that was pretty nice. And then in some epic packs I opened, which I didn't get on camera because I'm kind of a fucking idiot, I forgot to do that. But basically in those epic packs I got Donnarumma and Jude Bellingham and even a Nico Williams as well, right? So I essentially paid $2.50 for each of those cards there and they're surely going to be big cards in the coming weeks, and especially as uh, you know, the team start advancing to the knockout stages. So can't complain with that. I also got you know lots of other purchases down here, mostly Hungarian turkey and austria cards obviously not top top teams so they weren't super expensive more to round out the squads but we can see you know with the romanian cards there i had in game week three that you can certainly win stuff with even the average teams if they do all right and you climb up the leaderboards so overall really happy with my first week to be winning 145 dollars there and let's go back to my rewards and get these cards here that i've got as well right obviously we know about the yuna uh, I'm trying to be excitable here, but I'm fucking dying. Uh, Willy Orban, he's playing in about 30 minutes, so I'm surely going to get some use out of him there. Don't know why the fuck I keep saying Shirley. No one watching this is called Shirley. Although, comment down below if your name's Shirley. Surely not, right? Uh, but what the fuck am I about? 373, you know, that's nice. Cramerich, that's a very good card. Also expected to start in about 30 minutes, so he surely will be going into a team. That, that's two good cards right there. I don't know if I've just got, like, lucky that I'm getting cards playing in the next game week, or that's part of how it goes when you open them. I guess we'll see what Mythic card I get in here. Obviously, uh, the Yuna is lovely, right? That's that's a very good chunk of Yuna that claws back a lot of my outlay. And a Mythic card could be decent here. Kakabadze, I would say that's a bad Zay Paul. I uh, can't imagine I'm going to get much use out of him. I guess he got an okay score in the last game against Turkey, right? So it's not doom and gloom, but I would have liked something a bit better there. But hey... Can't complain too much. And now we'll go and look at my game day five teams, I guess. Uh, I had them set already, but I've just won two players there, right? So my world-class team, we were looking at a Hungarian strong team against Germany. So that's probably not going to go too well, right? We've also got Shars, Captain Sutalo, and Ruben Vargas of Switzerland and Croatia. And I want a Kramerich and Willy Orban epic card, right? So obviously i got 
Willie Orban's mythic there, so no need to change there really. And like I could put Cramrich on the bench, but I feel like that kind of be a waste because these two are really expected to start. So I'm almost just going to leave this world class team as it is. I'm going to go check out my beginner team here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go free for free. I'm going to put that Cramrich up top as he is expected to start. That gets my free epics in there. And then it's a case of, am I happy with this? So I've gone for Switzerland strong against Scotland. I feel like they should be coming out on top there. I'll see a Scottish player on the bench. And then I got three Germans, Musiala, Andrik, my two epic cars there. So I feel like this is quite a strong team in the beginner mode, but I feel like a lot of managers be able to say the same, right? As you only need three epics on the pitch and then you can fill that out with eight commons. So obviously Germany against Hungary, I'm going to see a lot of Germany lineups in here. I expect that's sort of why... I've gone for differential this game day with Switzerland. I don't know what the fuck I'm on about, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the thing, and we're gonna call it a day. Like and subscribe and sign up and all that shit, and I'll catch you next time, because I love you.